You have finally stepped foot into your favorite book series, and it is so incredibly magical. We are, of course, talking about Diagon Alley at Universal Studios Florida. It doesn't matter if this is your first time or your hundredth time. These secrets in Diagon Alley may be some that you aren't aware of. Here at Nerdy Couple TV, we love all things nerdy, especially Harry Potter. So if you're interested in nerdy content or Harry Potter content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so that you can be notified every time we post new videos. Diagon Alley is pretty magical on its own. It's literally one of our most favorite places anywhere. It is so incredibly easy to get lost in the world of Harry Potter and live out your childhood fantasy. However, there's so many small details that we find every time we go that we just keep adding to our list of really cool things that the creative team hid so that only those who truly know what they're looking for will be able to find them. So here's our list of 10 secrets in Diagon Alley that you may not be aware of. Over by the Magical Menagerie at the back of Diagon Alley, there is an alley. In that alley, there is a window display that has a snake. If you listen closely, the snake is actually speaking parcel tongue. So any butcher wizard out there who is a parcel mouth, make sure to go and talk to the snake because he is really wanting to chat with you. Inside of Nocturne Alley, there is a magical tattoo parlor. Granted, you can't go into this tattoo parlor, but you can see it through their door and window. And the magical tattoos are pretty cool. They actually move. So make sure to go over and look at those magical tattoos and see if any of them inspire a tattoo that you might get in the future. Inside of Madame Malkin's, you can get your school robe for whatever house that you got sorted into. However, there is a full length mirror there that you can make sure that the outfit, that the robes that you're wearing is a perfect fit. When you stand in front of the mirror, the mirror will actually talk to you. And most of the time, it will give you compliments on the way you look. So make sure to use that mirror when you go to try on your robes so that it can tell you what you actually look like. Inside of Weasley Wizard Wheezes, if you look up at the very top, there is actually fireworks that are like going off. These fireworks are a throwback to the fireworks that Fred and George set off at the end of Order of the Phoenix when they were leaving school. And you can actually see them with her fireworks again, promoting their Wheezy Wizard Wheezes in Diagon Alley on the train ride at Universal Studios from Hogsmeade to King's Cross Station. We all know our favorite pub, hotel, room and board place, the Leaky Cauldron. The Leaky Cauldron entrance is located right there in Diagon Alley. And outside you have the Leaky Cauldron logo sign. That sign, if you pay really close attention, actually does leak. The cauldron has a crack in it, and from that crack, there will be water droplets that fall down. Make sure to go look at the leaky cauldron sign next time you're there. These next two aren't technically inside Diagon Alley. They are outside of Diagon Alley, and they are the phone booth and Grimrock Place. So the phone booth outside in the London area is one of the traditional red phone booths. And it is the phone booth that Harry and Mr. Weasley take when they have to enter the Ministry of Magic when Harry is 15. If you pay really close attention, you can dial a certain number and actually reach the line for the Ministry of Magic. Granted, last time we went, we did not get to go into the phone booth. They had it blocked off because we were in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. But once things start going back to normal, make sure to go over there and type in the phone number. We'll list it down here below and they will be able to let you reach base with the Ministry of Magic. And then just a little bit further down the street, you have Grimmauld Place. And it is very easy to see because it is the brownstone house that looks way dirtier than all the rest. But the big thing about Grimmauld Place is that if you look up at the top, there is a window there where Creature will peek his head out every now and then, just checking out what's going on out in the street. So if you want to see Creature in real life, make sure to go over there and wave hi to him up in the window. This next one is not technically a secret, but it's something that people aren't aware of when they first get to Diagon Alley, and that's the spell spots. There's spell spots all throughout Diagon Alley, and if you get a wand from Ollivander's, they will have a map in there that shows you all the different spell spots. However, there is a few in particular, two in Diagon Alley, that the spell spots actually make something happen with water. So if you're not careful, if you're not paying attention to where you're walking, you could get hit with some water potentially. 
So make sure to always look at the ground. And if there's a wet area, then that's more than likely a spot where the water spot is. There's actually two of those spots in Diagon Alley. The first one is like back towards the back far right when there's the pub over there that you could go get your butterbeer. There is a mermaid statue statue right there in the center and that mermaid statue actually shoots out water. And the last one's actually over by the bathrooms. So you have to be super careful that if you're going to use the bathrooms in Diagon Alley, the public restrooms, that you pay attention to the umbrella that's over it. Because there's a spell spot right there that when you do it, the umbrella will actually make it rain and everything that's under it will get wet if you're not paying attention. Back in the Nocturne Alley, there are some shrunken heads on a display on a wall, kind of over by Bor Borgen and Burks. These shrunken heads, if you sit there long enough, you'll notice not only do they talk, but they also sing a song. The song they sing is actually a throwback to a song that is seen in the movie Jaws. Where Diagon Alley sits is where the old Jaws ride used to be for Universal Studios. And so that was a way that they paid homage to that ride that they had to take out in order to create Diagon Alley was by having these shrunken heads sing that song from Jaws. Lastly, this is one that is truly a fun and easy way that if your kids don't get picked for all of Andrews, they can still participate in something fun. In Weezy Wizard Weezes, and I believe in the Magical Menagerie too, you can buy pygmy puffs. They are pink or purple, depending on which pygmy puff you choose. When you buy a pygmy puff, they will actually let you do a naming ceremony. And so throughout this naming ceremony, you get to pick the name. They draw everyone's attention to the fact that you're naming this pygmy puff. And they even give you care instructions for your pygmy puff. So it is very interactive as you're checking out, but it is super fun. And it's an easy way to get your kids involved with something if they got skipped over for the Ollivander's wand picking. So were any of these surprises to you? If so, let us know below which ones were surprises or did we leave one out that you thought we should mention? Make sure to let us know which one we left out. We will see you next time here on Nerdy Couple TV. And remember, there's always another switchback. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and smash the subscribe button because we want you here every time we post a new video so that you can join us with our nerdiness.